Hello friends, welcome to Talent Crafts. Hello friends, welcome to my third video tutorial of Python for beginners. In the previous video, I gave you introduction to Python and how to download Python. Also, I have shown you how to use variables and Python. Today, I am going to show you how you can use numbers and maths and Python. So, what is number? A number is a mathematical object used to count, measure and label. Number is very important part of any programming language. So, let's have a look on few examples using numbers in Python. Open your IDLE. So, this is my... So, let's begin with the numbers. Uh, let's see how to add num two numbers. For example, I take 100 plus 85. So, this is the answer that we get by adding. Now, you can even add negative values like I'll take minus 95 plus 5. So it will give up answer like minus 90. So now this is how to add negative values. Now let's see how to sub subtract values. So for example, I take 38 minus 5. So what it gives to me is 33. That's correct, friends. Now let's see how to find what you know that is a reminder of numbers. So I'll take 23 modulo 2 and what I'm getting is 1. That's also correct. Now let's divide a number. For example, 33 divided by 2. So I get 16.5. Now this is a decimal value which I'm getting. Now if you don't want a decimal value after division, what you can do is if you want a whole value, then just type the number that is 33 divided by 2 it double times. So divide double times and then 2. So now what I will get answer is a whole value. That is I will not get any decimal values behind it. Now you can even divide float and the decimal values. So what is float? Float is a decimal value that you get. So how to divide a float? So this is it. Nine. I'm taking an example like 39.99 divided by 4, 6 so this is the answer which I give sorry I get now how to multiply and Python so I'll take an example like 86 cross that is a streak mark into four so this is the multiplication of each 86 cross 4 now what if you want to find an exponent in Python so what is exponent friends exponent of a number says how many times to use the number in multiplication like for example if I want exponent of 2 raised to 5 that is 2 multiplication of 2 
so I have to do it five times now this is the answer which I get but what if I want exponent of 3 raised to 15 I have to do it 15 times I have to multiply 3 15 times and that is very lengthy right so what you have to do is simply write 3 so I want exponent of 3 double asterisk that is 2 times asterisk and then 15 so I'll get an answer of 3 raised to 15 so this is what I get now friends let's take a problem to find the average of three subjects so I want to find an average of three subjects as in the previous video I showed you how to take variables and assign it a value so let's take a subject maths and give it a value of 45 then let's take science and assign it a value of 35 now I'm taking a subject English and giving it 48 so these are the three variables that is given a name of subject and I'm assigning it a value now let's find an average of it so what is the formula for average average is equal to maths sorry plus science plus english and then three so this is the basic formula which we apply for average now let's print average so we'll write print and then in the parentheses avg okay now friends take a pause for a second and guess the answer so what did you guess okay you might be guessing at 42 but what's the value it's showing it's showing 96 so why is it so like is it giving us a wrong answer so friends let's view the formula once again and the formula is math plus science plus English divided by 3 so it's correct right but here you can see that there are more than one operation to perform so what is happening here is it is dividing English divided by 3 first and then adding the value so we are getting the answer 96 here so what basically happens it is it get confused like which operation should be performed first whom to give the priority or preference so what we have to do is we have to type average in the parentheses maths plus science plus English and then divide 3 so what it will do now is it will first give the preference to variables that are into parentheses and then divide it by 3 so let's see the answer if it is correct or not right now print average so let me hit the enter and here it is 42.6 so you are getting the answer correct right now so you have find 
average of three subjects so as you can see here that it is printing average with a lot of decimal values so if you want to see like two precisions or only two decimal point in it then you can use a function like uh, the function is round and then here you have to add the number so what I have to print is my average and then I want only two precision so I'll keep it two for here and uh, let's just enter so what you can see here that it gives only two precisions 42.67 here and if I want to print like average till three precision so I can take here three and then enter so here you can see that it gives only three precision now suppose for example if I take a number eight minus five point four so here you can see that it gives me a lot of decimal values so what i can do here is i can directly use the function round and then in the parentheses i can type directly 8 minus 5.4 so here is my number which i want with a decimal values of only two so so this is the number which I want to subtract and till the value of, sorry, till the decimal values of 2. So let's enter and you can see the answer. That was all about numbers and maths in Python today. I will show you more functions of Python in next video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe to Talent Graphs. And don't forget to click on bell icon for staying tuned with the notifications. Thanks for watching. Bye.